Did you know, for example, 60% of cosmetic surgery patients are disappointed with the results, although they look pleasantly surprised? <laughs> A quarter of the over 50s are failing to save. It's control S, you old buffers. <laughs> and one in four Brits claims that their post has been lost or stolen. Well, I can reassure you, it was definitely stolen. <laughs> Let's get started. What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. We've teamed up with a leading polling organisation and they've asked the British nation what stories they've been discussing this week. It's our panellists' job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking point. I <laughs> <laughs> definitely needed an S on the end of it, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, that, that, talking point. <laughs> Do the S again. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> Could be one of mine. <laughs> Dave, Jade and Chris, what have the nation been talking about this week? Uh, take that aback with the uh, Inland Revenue Tour, I think it is, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's not front page news, surely to God. <laughs> They've got... No, the Beatles have got a hit album. Oh, hang on, there's a lady going through the menopause as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Take That fan speak. What? At news they just go, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> how are you today? Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> you want a cup of tea? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Childline set up a, a hotline right after Take That yeah. and split up. In 1996, the Samaritans set up a special helpline for yeah. distraught fans. Yes. It's the only time the Samaritans have ever been allowed to use the words, oh, grow up. <laughs> 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 On the phone. <laughs> Just <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Why are they called Take That? What's the name mean? On their video, they had this thing saying, if you don't like it, throw it in the bin. Take that. That's my favourite thing you've ever said. <laughs> Those are the instructions that come with their video. Well, they said it, they said it. I promise, I watched it at my caravan with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yes. I imagine that was a party. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Take That at number one is up there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Take That have returned to the top of the charts. The reunion took longer than expected to put together because no one could remember who Howard was. <laughs> They spent six months rehearsing with a bloke from the Halifax advert. <laughs> Vic, Sean and John, what have the nation been talking about this week? I think they're talking about Michael Gray going from the uh, BBC over to ITV. You know, they're saying he got something like eight million and he's saying he didn't do it for the money. No. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> he's genuinely saying that, though. He's kind of come yeah. out in the press and gone, it's not about the money. You don't... I don't do a job for the money. What the hell do you do it for? He said, he said he did it for the challenge. The challenge being getting all that money home in a wheelbarrow. ITV <laughs> <laughs> said it was a real coup. It's not, is it? No. A real coup would be when ITV's tanks actually roll into Television Centre. <laughs> that would be... A real coup? That would be an actual coup. <laughs> ITV have done it because ITV apparently is not doing very well at the moment. So they've stolen Chief from stealing. Channel One. Stolen, I mean. Stolen, <laughs> Chief from Channel One to come over and do it. But what really muddles my brain is... <laughs> <laughs> what muddles your brain? No, what muddles my brain is if they've got all that money to offer him, why don't they just make better TV programmes? <laughs> I hope he finally ends Coronation Street, cos this first series is really dragging on. <laughs> <laughs> You know what he's doing to Coronation Street? What? He's changing. He's going to be CSI Weatherfield. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if it's up there. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, Michael Grave has announced he's moving to ITV. ITV needs him. They're in trouble. I tried to tape the mint the other night and my Sky Plus box started crying. 